We are back. Thanks for joining us yes. on Morning Line Special Edition. Steve and Dave stepped away because they're doing a quick update over there on the main channel. Leland's still here with us. For and a second, then I got to go do yeah, that bit as soon as run. Dave is done. Yes. We were just talking about the two laziest boys on earth, mm -hmm. our, our sons. <laughs> It's glad, uh, you know, it's one of those things uh, that in a weird way is comforting because you think, is it just my son? Right, right. You know, and, and, but and I think there is a different mindset with, with, uh, with teens and there's a different mindset with uh, my son and my daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, oh, yeah. So we could get a little bit of motivation. And what is it they're going to, you know, you ask them, what do you want for Christmas? You know, the old days, you give them a cool game or mm -hmm. something. Kind of, of course, they never ask for clothing. All they want is video games. Yes. Uh -huh. video, I mean, yeah. I'm guessing your son, is that? Mm -hmm. They want the phone. He's getting the phone. Oh, okay. He's well, held off on a, he, he, we needed more maturity. He? How old is he? Before he got a phone. How he's old is he now? 14 that's, now. Okay. Yeah. That'd be handy, but you know, that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. The phone is mm -hmm. huge. Yes. Okay. Phone's more important, I think, these days than a car once they even drive. Mm -hmm. My son's now 16. He yeah. has a vehicle to go to school and go to swim practice. But if you said, Huey, which would you, you know, if you want to punish him, mm -hmm. it's much more of a punishment to take the phone away. To take away. the phone away. Oh, I agree. They just yes. left their lifeline. Mm -hmm. And you I know, agree. when we were growing up, a car was everything. That's everything. Yes. Uh -huh. which is nuts. Mm. So yeah, oh, so he gets a phone. That's a great gift. Mm -hmm. You get him an iPhone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I that's, think, that's I think we think well. Santa may bring that. So, yeah. okay. so while you take this phone call, I'm going to go down. You run. Out. I'm going to take a few calls. The other guys will come back in. Mm -hmm. If some of you callers have questions for them, they'll, uh, you know, I'll, okay. I'll pass it on. But Cindy, go ahead, Cindy. Oh, my. Hey. Hey, Cindy. Bye, Cindy. <laughs> Leland will be right back. But go ahead, Cindy. What's going on? What's your... Uh, you are married. Yeah. Okay, I know you were married because I met you at Jack Daniels. Yeah. I saw your kids with you. Oh, yeah, you were there. At the, were you there at the Jack Daniels barbecue? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, my son was there with my wife outside on the periphery. When, what, that wasn't this year, was it? No, sir, I didn't go this year. Yeah, that's right, because my son didn't go this year. But, um, yeah, 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 I'm married. Leland's married. Okay, so, yeah. well, anyway, I wanted to say a few things. Sure, go ahead. Okay. For one, tell Leland I love him. All right. But in fact, he gets good weather reports, and I pray we don't have some blizzard. Yeah. You know, and I also hope that he doesn't have to work Christmas or some kind of rainstorm. Yeah. I, I, I love know. the traffic man. Yeah. Gosh, he, he's a great guy. I don't go anywhere without watching him. He's one of a kind. Something happened on the interstate. I said, that's it. I ain't going there yet. Yeah. I wait till they clear it up. And I love Steve Hayslip. Well, see that you walk in just when she says she loves Steve Hayslip. I paid for that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> wait, why? You know, I mean, really, Cindy, why do you love Steve Hayslip? Oh, because he's the greatest news man that ever walked on Channel 5. Is it the animal magnetism? Oh. In the world. <laughs> adorable. It's, I owe her money. And, 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 and adorable. <laughs> and adorable. How uh, about that? Listen, Cindy, thank nice. you. And have, have a merry, merry Christmas. She has made my day. You guys as anchors. And, you know, I, I host the show, but it's on the plus. And then, you know, I, I do a lot of the reporting right. and the early morning hits. But as anchors, too, um, I think you guys develop more of a relationship with the viewers because you're on so much. You and Amy, by the way, who would be here, but she's off this week right. and will be back next week. Uh, I mean, you guys interact. You have some regular viewers that probably Facebook mm -hmm. you, text you. Um, you know, you get to know some of them. And, of yeah. course, they all feel, and it applies to some reporters like me who have been around and Phil right. Williams, but that they know you. You're like kind of... You know what? It is so special. It really is. And I don't say that, <laughs> you know, to sound trivial or light or anything. I mean, it really is. When people stop you and talk yeah. to you, it is an honor. And, and I've told my wife and kids, and they know this too, that, you know, these are the people that, that, that help make us, you know, whole here and, and provide everything for us, you know? Um, so it, it's very <laughs> special when they take the time out to say hello and, and to say a nice word or two. Uh, but we, it, it is. It's very humbling. I totally agree. And I never understood this because there have been times where even I've been the recipient of it and I've observed it with others where maybe someone comes up and either they're too busy to deal with it. and I understand some super celebrities you know if you get it all the yeah. time but you know you and I and especially anchors when you go out you're recognized most of the time and when people come up I don't care who what or what I'm feeling at that moment right 
I am always going to be courteous, and really, it's genuine because I'm flattered. Yeah, I, I simply exactly. don't understand anyone who is not appreciative when someone, and I, be it in the Kroger mm. or the Walmart or where, walking down the street, right. they come up and say, "Hey, Nick." And, and the first thing I'll do is they always say Nick, and they know me. And I'll say, ah, "Yeah, thanks for watching. What's your name?" I know because I want to get to know you. But <laughs> right. I'm like you, Steve, and I know you. I know you, and that's the kind of person you are. Because yeah. we generally, I just don't understand people who wouldn't react that way, and there are some that don't. Well, I think the people in this business, you know, and, and we're blessed to be with people here that that have that feeling and yeah, that really want to want to get to know the viewers and, yep. and appreciate the fact that they take the time to say hi and say a nice word. And you're right, people who who are pompous. The problem is when when some one one person does that from some other station or some other market. Paint y'all with a brush. It taints it all for, for all of us. Yep. But I agree with you. How people can be that way is beyond me. Yep. We all have bad days, but uh, I can yeah. guarantee you, if I'm having a bad day and someone recognizes me, it makes my day a little better. The bad thing is, <laughs> and, and you nice. know what? The bad thing is, is if you, if you, if they catch you in an off moment when you're not as courteous as you should be, yeah. they'll remember that for oh, life. And that's it. You know? But the truly, I'm flattered. I'm not yeah. doing it because I don't want them to think negative of me. I'm doing it because I really want to get to know them. I know. And it's very nice when they come up. I agree. Let's go to uh, Edith. Hi, Edith. Hi. Hey, how are you, Edith? What's on your mind? I'm doing fine. I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy uh, New Year. Thank you. Thank you, Edith. I only you. watch Channel 5. Y'all are great. Well, thank you. Where, where, are you, where do you live? Are you in uh, Davidson? Are you outside the county? I'm in Sniffle. You're, I'm sorry? Centerville. You're Centerville. in Centerville. Centerville. Well, that's county. awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, thank yep. you for watching, Edith. I hope you have a, a very Merry Christmas. Okay. Thank you, guys. And, uh... No, I'm in Smithville. Oh, Smithville. 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 Oh, DeKalb in, in, in DeKalb County. Okay. Oh, the way. Okay. And, All right. and that is a cool little town. I like the little mm -hmm. square down there. Oh, we're both just in the parade down there, right? Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, do, we Thanks, do, have a, do we have a camera in Smithville on the square? No, no? We, would, we wouldn't mind having one down that way, but, mm -hmm. you know... Uh, yeah. So we've got to work on that. Yeah, we got, yeah, Steve yeah, and yeah. I have done Christmas parades in DeKalb County down right. in Liberty. Right. Uh, okay. And actually, even before I did Liberty, I did do Smithville one year, yeah. but yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever done that. Smithville. Liberty Smithville. is a neat little town. It is. It's it? so cool. Well, uh -huh. Cindy, it's nice to talk to you. Uh, yeah, I was the Grand Marshal Parade this year. Where at? I was out there with the Miata, the convertible down, nice. on the back seat, sitting there waving to the... It was the shortest Christmas parade in the country. Mm -hmm. And Liberty? It was about a block and a half Liberty. in Gladeville. <laughs> oh, Gladeville. <laughs> Liberty. And it was great. This was the first annual, and I said I would. It just went around the corner and ended at the community center. And there was a good turn. Nice. It was fun. I know you guys have done that. I saw you did one with Lynn Plantinga, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, our Paris. station general manager did the, yeah, the one in Paris there. over You're in Paris. Uh, I was in Paris. <laughs> How do you uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the, they've got the Eiffel Tower all lit up. Right. Over That's there, what so. it is. Yeah. And the catfish uh -huh. races. Yeah. And the catfish races, yes. <laughs> yeah. I am seeing the Spring Hill Parade. It rained its tail yes. off. Yes, it did. It. <laughs> hey, man, it, it, the parade but goes on. It was on. great. Uh -huh. It was a great parade and a lot of fun. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Ann. Hi, Ann. Good morning. First, Good morning. let me say thank you to the um, news. To your crew. Sure, thank you. all the talk shows this whole year. Um, I listen faithfully, and your whole crew is awesome. Oh, I nice. have two special memories I have to share, and one will answer a question for you. The first is my husband was 15 when he was asked to help us decorate a tree down at Harvey's on Church Street. Hmm. He cringed when he was asked to do it, and he was so good at it. He got to do it for the next four years. <laughs> I got to spend those next four years watching him and then later married him and I still take great pride in watching each ornament get placed on my tree, some of which came from Harvey's. Wow. The second memory I have has to do with eggnog. Okay. It should only be mixed with the very best brandy. There you brandy. go. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. My sister and I had bought these very large, oversized dolls that could not be hidden in our homes. So they were hidden at my husband's shop, which unfortunately was in Berry Hill. So after Christmas at Mima and Papa's, and after my brother-in-law and my husband had faithfully put together every tricycle and bicycle and Barbie house and had consumed 
quite a bit of eggnog <laughs> and brandy, <laughs> it was discovered that these life-size baby dolls were still sitting in Berry Hill. <laughs> so two very drunken Santa Clauses <laughs> loaded up at 2 o'clock in the morning, oh dear. and they drove no. up these baby dolls. No. Sister and I waited patiently yeah. praying they were not arrested and right. in jail on Christmas morning. Yeah, or, yeah worse would well, be in jail with baby dolls. Yeah, with baby Yeah, that wouldn't, wouldn't <laughs> be hard to explain. <laughs> These life-size baby yeah. dolls. What, what, what are you doing for? What were you guys, that's a great story. <laughs> right, we should have asked her, though, what the uh, day that was, because then we would know the origins and the day that uh, we got the song Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the phone lines are loaded, guys. Let's go to Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, Lisa. Merry Christmas. Thank you. What's on your mind? Um, well, I have a, a comment to make. Sure. Um, I'm going to ask Steve to kind of go back a little while. And maybe when he first started, I had texted him or emailed him mm -hmm. about my daughter who's handicapped and uh, how she just would not get up out of bed to go to school unless she seen him on the TV. I so remember she that. Could just end up. How cool yes. is that? Yeah, I remember that. Thank you very much. I remember you sending me that and, and hearing about that. That is That made my year. It really did. Yeah, she's still she's still in love with you, and she <laughs> she still got that crush on me that I wanted to tell you. Oh, is she there with you now? Well, she's laying down. Oh, okay. Cause Steve would say hi to her on uh, the air. Please tell her I said hello. Okay. Oh, I will. I will. She's and, not and, up this oh. morning, but she's usually up, and she, like I said, that was the only way I could get her to get up and go to school every morning. Uh, okay. You know this airs you. again at three o'clock today. What's her name? I'm sorry. What is her name? Her name's April. April. April, Merry Christmas, and thank you so much for being such a, a loyal viewer and fan. That's just, that made my, made my day that right there. That is very cool. This I remember that email yeah. from her, and I remember, See, I remember about it. those are the yeah. ones you don't forget, yeah, Steve. Yeah, right. That you is really yeah. nice. And again, so wow. if she gets up later, this airs again at 3, and it'll air again tomorrow morning. So, Lisa, get her up to watch and hear Steve say Please Merry do, Christmas. Lisa. That's neat. All right, uh, let's go to Bob. Bob, good morning. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, Bob. <laughs> uh, so my uh, favorite memories, uh, uh, you had your banana pudding, I don't know what happened there, and you had your uh, pineapple upside down. Oh, my uh -huh. dad liked that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Always, uh, with balloons and hands and uh, Fireball XL5. And, oh, yeah. You know, you got to see the church and the priest and all that sort of, and you had snow. So, uh, <laughs> well, it's always kind of cool. We've had a few white Christmases. Thank mm -hmm. you, Bob. Yeah, yeah, Bob and I are in the same demographic. I remember Fireball Wait, XL5. It was a Saturday that? morning cartoon show. Fireball, oh, what? Fireball XL5. Engines to power, turbines to speed. Oh, it was I don't great. Wow. Oh, my I don't remember, remember, remember that. Remember that. Yeah. 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 That's because you're children. No. I, I don't think we're that much yeah, younger. So this is rare that yeah. something is older than us. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, yeah. woohoo! Yeah. Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. right. Schoolhouse yeah. Rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super Friends? Uh, Super Friends. Super Friends. Wow. Yeah. Justice, uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go to Grady. Grady, good morning. Good morning, Nick. Uh, this news uh, group in Nashville. Uh, I remember when Nick first came to town and they put the cowboy hat and the boots on and sent him down on broad. Nice. He's right. You are. He's been with us for for over 20 years. Grady has. Wow. At one of our remember Grady at one of our morning line picnics when we did those with Tandy. <sighs> you made that. Do you remember that? Yeah. And you made that wonderful pot. And Larry was there too. That wonderful pot of um of uh, chicken and biscuits, right? Or no, no, no. You made chicken dumplings. <laughs> Mm. Which were really better. Uh, Dave talking about Sandy, you know, of course. Yep. He had Charlie Pride too. And, yeah. and uh, of course, uh, him and Charlie Lamb knew everybody mm -hmm. on Music Row. Yep. And, uh, you know, Charlie used to write the the uh, country western part of the uh, newspaper out there on Music Row. Mm -hmm. uh, hate, hated by some and loved by some, but <laughs> uh, when Charlie Pride gets the anxious. When you get back home, but you know, you talk about the house falling down. Uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, when they sold their house, uh, the whole side of one side fell completely down. And talking about old cars, I had to pick. 
three Ford convertible. Nice. They had to have a screwdriver to let the top up. Oh, yeah. But it had a hole in the floorboard, and I got to watch my floor out going down China <laughs> Avenue. I've done that myself. <laughs> and, I, and, you know, you can't do much planning in that egg dog, so you don't want to cook it again. <laughs> but I'll hang up with some y'all's comments. Nice talking to you. Have a happy New Year and a Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too, Grady. You too. Grady actually is recovering from massive bypass surgery. Really? And he's oh, called right. over the last few months, and when he first did, not long after he had gotten back out of the hospital, you could hear it in his voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Grady is someone with a booming, strong voice, and he yeah. candidly yeah. will tell you, before this surgery, he was a four-pack-a-day guy. Oh, my. Four oh, packs wow. a day. But, I mean, and he would say his lungs were clear, but he ended up having this heart issue. And, Grady, your voice sounds stronger. You sound like you're doing well. And uh, he's just a great guy, and I think he's done smoking, obviously, and yeah. he's healing up and Good. feeling better. Yeah. And it's just very nice to some of these long term. Seriously, he goes back like yeah. 20 years. That's yeah. so cool. You, you know? know? Some folks who have stayed with us. Um, I mean, me. there's kids who have grown up watching you, Steve. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> but unfortunately, we're at that point where yeah. we're in the grocery store and people tell yeah. us that now. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I and we, Chris Clark yeah. used to say, I, you know, oh, gosh, when I hear that, I realize how old I am. Yeah. Now we're feeling that way. And we've got people now that are like producers that yeah. are <laughs> the age of our children. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> On that note, we'll take a break. Back with more of your calls in our final segment right after we have this. Jared Tall anywhere. <laughs>